स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री द टू मर्चंट्स ऑफ सेरी दिस स्टोरी इज अबाउट द टू मर्चंट्स अ पुअर ओल्ड वुमेन एंड अ ग्रैंड डॉटर वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन अ विलेज कॉल्ड सेरी देर लिवड अ मर्चंट मर्चंट मीन्स अ पर्सन सप्लाइंग गुड्स ही वेंट फ्रॉम टाउन टू टाउन सेलिंग पॉट्स एंड पैन्स एंड अदर थिंग्स मेड ऑफ ब्रास एंड टीन ब्रास मीन्स ब्राइट एलो मेटल मेड बाय मिक्सिंग टू मेटल्स He travelled every day with another merchant who also sold brass and tin wares. Tin wares means things made of tin, a metal. But this other man was greedy. Greedy means cunning and selfish person. When he sold something, he sold it at a very high price. But when he bought something he tried to give as little as possible when the two merchants went into a town they divided the street between them each one went up and down the streets he had chosen calling tin wares for sale brass for sale people come out to their doorsteps doorsteps means a front of a door and bought or trade trade means buy sell or exchange goods with them only after one merchant had finished his business on that street did the other one made his rounds there made his rounds means to go from place to place in those days people did not always use money to buy things sometimes they exchanged things of the same value in one house there lived a poor old woman and her granddaughter the family had once been rich but now the only thing they had left of all their riches riches means wealth valuable things was a dish made of gold however the grandmother did not know it was a gold dish the dish stood on a shelf among the other pots and pans and was not often used now the greedy merchant passed this house calling buy my water jars buy my pans buy my tin wares the granddaughter said o oh, grandmother do buy something for me my dear said the old woman we are too poor to buy anything i have not anything to trade even grandmother see i have found this old dish among other pots and pans were on the shelf we don't ever use it can we trade this perhaps the merchant will take it and give us something nice for it the old woman called the merchant and showed him the dish saying will you take this sir and give the little girl her something for it the greedy man took the dish and scratched it side with a needle he came to know immediately that it was a gold dish but 
ही वॉन्टेड टू गेट इट फॉर नथिंग फ्रॉम द ओल्ड वुमेन सो ही सेड वॉट इज दिस वर्थ नॉट इवन अ कॉपर कॉइन ही थ्रू द डिश ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड वेंट अवे द क्राफ्टी क्राफ्टी मीन्स कनिंग मर्चंट वॉज प्लैनिंग टू गो बैक आफ्टर सम टाइम एंड बाय द डिश फॉर अ फ्यू कॉपर कॉइन्स एज इफ डूइंग अ ग्रैंड फेवर टू द ओल्ड लेडी आफ्टर अ वाइल द ऑनेस्ट मर्चंट फिनिश द राउंड ऑफ ही स्ट्रीट्स एंड एंटर्ड द स्ट्रीट वेर द ओल्ड लेडी लिव्ड He passed her house, calling, "Buy my water jars, buy my tinwares, buy my brass." The little girl heard him and begged her grandmother to see what this merchant would give for the dish. My child said, "The grandmother, the merchant who was just." Yer threw the dish on the ground and went away. I have nothing else to offer in trade, but grandmother said the girl, "This one looks pleasant. Pleasant means kind. Ask him, perhaps he will give us something for it. Call him then." and show it to him said the old woman as soon as the merchant took the dish in his hands he knew it was a gold immediately he said this is a gold dish it is worth more than all my money and all my wares i will bring enough money tomorrow and then buy it for you wares means articles or things for sale the old woman was greatly surprised she was impressed by the honesty and goodness of the merchant take this dish and give me the money tomorrow she said The honest man kept all his wares and money with the old woman and took the dish he left her himself only enough money for the boat ride that he had to take on his way back after some time the greedy merchant went back to the house where he had seen the golden dish and said bring that dish to me and i will give you something for it no said the grandmother you said the dish was worthless worthless means having no value but another honest merchant had paid a great price for it so i gave it to him you should not try to take advantage of the poor and needy people what could the greedy merchant say he paid the price for his dishonesty and greed moral of the story is honesty is the best policy thank you